Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to plot the characteristics of the DC shunt motor and DC series motor in MATLAB. In case of DC shunt motor, the armature winding and the field winding are connected in parallel. As in this case, you can see here the armature winding and the field winding. They are connected parallelly to the battery source over here. While in case of series motor, the armature winding and the field winding they are connected in series with the battery source you can see here the positive terminal of the battery source is going to the field winding the other terminal of the field winding is connected to the armature winding and the other terminal of the armature winding is coming back to the negative terminal of the battery you can drag and drop the dc machine from the simulink library it's over here you can see the dc machine you can just drag and drop here once you have the DC machine in your Simulink model, you need to decide whether you are going to use it as a motor or generator. So how to decide whether the machine is working as a motor or generator? So just go here, you'll see. The machine is in motor mode when the torque is positive and the machine is in the generator mode when the torque is negative. So the torque port here, I have given a ramp signal which is uh, having a slope of 10 starting at 0 and initial output is 0. So it's going to be positive with the time. So I am providing the positive value to this terminal. So hence the machine will work as a motor. Let's see the other parameters of the machine. If you see the configuration, I have uh, chosen a preset model. There are many preset models which are provided in the MATLAB. I'm using the first one and the mechanical input I'm giving is as a torque. And the other parameters they cannot be changed because you have uh, selected the preset value okay now the m port which is the measurement port produces the four values i'm i just need the three values that's why i have terminated this signal here so the three values are the speed of the motor the armature current and the torque at the same time i'm saving these values in the command window of the matlab so that i can plot them later on so that's about the shunt motor let's see the series motor here in case of the series motor the mechanical input is the speed and I have taken no preset model instead I have given some values these are pretty much generic values for the any uh, DC series motor okay now at the mechanical input I am giving a ramp signal here the ramp signal has a slope of 500 starting at the zero time and initial output will be 500 so one more thing these both of these machines are the one type motor another one you have the permanent magnet type Okay, we will see that permanent magnet in the next video. Similarly, this uh, measurement port has the four values. I am saving these values in the command window. Okay, so let's start the simulation and see the results. So in this figure, we have the six plots. The above row is a uh, shunt motor. The below one is the series motor. The first graph we are plotting here is speed versus armature current the second one is torque versus armature current and the third one is about the speed versus torque similarly for the dc series motor that's how you can plot the dc machine characteristics in matlab now i'm gonna show you how i plotted these all the graphs in the one window right click anywhere in your model go to the model properties go to the callbacks click on the stop function when the simulation is complete this script will run this is the script for plotting the results in a single window. So what we are doing here, we are taking a figure and using the command subplot, which will have the two rows, three columns and first plot is this one. The next one is uh, two rows, three columns, third, uh, second figure. Another one is two rows, three columns, third figure like that. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Please do subscribe my channel. If you want this model, just let me know. My email ID is in the description box.